and welcome back. Have you ever wondered how National S'mores Day came to be, or maybe the National Leave the Office Early Day to, day, uh, to any day? Well, there's one man right here in North Dakota who's made it his priority to make uh, to make every single day a celebration. And, to sh and uh, Aaron is here now to share the story behind that. Who this guy is, we may be a little familiar with him. Yeah, so I didn't realize that Marlo Anderson, our KX tech expert, was actually right here living in Mandan, was the one behind the National mm -hmm. Day calendar. Did you know that? I did. Okay, well, why didn't anyone tell me that? That's why I'm like <laughs> confused. wanted it to be a surprise so you could tell us the history behind well, it. Well, that's why I did this story because I was hey. like, what? Yeah, it's yeah. cool. It's cool. But yes, yeah, so he started out as a local entrepreneur and he and his wife started their own silk screen printing business and he tells me he's always been a pop popcorn lover and a little over seven years ago he was trying to figure out when National Popcorn Day was and couldn't find any information online about it but that's what's hatched an idea that has since reached people worldwide. You know Popcorn Day is on January 19th but where did this day start? How did it where did it come from? And I was shocked even even seven years ago you know we're in the age of information right? Why couldn't I find anything about this? That's when Marlo Anderson really started digging into all these national days. He recruited a good friend and started working nights and weekends putting together information about how each national day came to be. And just like that, this fun little project turned into something bigger than he ever thought. About six months into that, I uh, had a conversation and she had to kind of step away from it because uh, um, the pressure of this. And I was just kind of shocked by that conversation because what kind of pressure is this? We're just writing these articles, whatever. But started to understand that the press was starting to use the articles that we were writing as source material for morning talk shows across the country. They were getting hundreds of calls from across the country and thousands of emails from people wanting comments about national days and the research they were doing. Anderson, who was doing this as a hobby, still had a full-time job and was actively involved with many other projects. He tells me it wasn't until a live interview with Fox News that he knew he couldn't do it all anymore. Talking this whole story, right? And then about two minutes into this, the reporter that's interviewing me, and remember now, I'm live on Fox News, National News, and she goes, what does this have to do with National Puppy Day? And, you know, I, I just kind of froze, and I'm like, um, and I took the one hat off, put the other one hat on, and, and, and started talking about Puppy Day then. That's when he made the decision to turn the National Day calendar into a full-time business. They now have over 13 million followers and track nearly 1,500 national days, national weeks, and national months. They have been featured on The Ellen Show, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Kimmel, Good Morning America, and many others. While they have had major success, Marlo, his wife Alice, and the rest of the National Day calendar team tell me what keeps them coming back every day is the joy they've been able to share with the rest of the world. The celebrating every day, making people smile, making people happy, giving people something to smile about every day. It gives people a reason to actually get together, um, and we hear about this all the time. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that there were national days, um, I think a lot of people wouldn't have that excuse to call up their friend and say, hey, let's go have a donut because it's donut day or, or whatever. Last year, they were the number one trending topic 457 times. And if you do want to submit your own National Day, you can go on their website and you can find that information on our KX page, kxnet.com. And Alicia, I did ask him what the craziest thing someone's ever submitted was, but they couldn't tell me because it was too inappropriate. But I still <laughs> really want to know. But they said the funniest day is to pretend to be a time traveler day. Um, but. I, are you ready for the surprise? Uh, yeah, I, I want to see the okay. surprise. Okay. Well, the real the real surprise I was I was going to make Tim feel really uncomfortable because there was a national cuddle day and <laughs> I was going to like go up and try to cuddle with him, but he's not here today. Okay, so look at these. They have some really great merchandise, <laughs> but look at this. Can you read that for everyone? I can smell it. Well, Mer my <laughs> feet smell great, Alicia. Okay, what is it? Merry Christmas. You filthy, you filthy animal. I just watched that yesterday. Or and a couple days I got this, this weekend. One too. Um, a hot dog. Hot dog. I don't know if, if y'all can see the hot dog, but yeah, those are some socks, Aaron. Yeah, they also have I, really great merchandise. But today but. is National Logger Day, not yeah. Stinky Sock Day. Alicia. But but those are cool. They but are I like great. your shirt. Thank you. Did you like this whole wardrobe I, I change? I do. That I do. I and it was very fast and efficient. Yeah. That's so what reporters have to do, you know. Amber, I think you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky that you're on the other side of the room right now. Uh, you know, no, I'm, I'm sorry. The, the, I, I didn't I'm, smell. Yeah, I'm done. We can go. Tim would have enjoyed this day actually. He would have. He think. loves. Socks. He loves the socks. 
Yeah. If, if it was National Like Crazy Sock Day, he does. He, he Yeah, and I haven't appreciated socks until I came to North Dakota because of how cold it is. That is yes. a great transition yes, to weather. Yes, great transition. Oh, oh, my that was gosh. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, oh, you I need to layer up on the socks today, right, Amber? Be an anchor there. <laughs> yeah. In your Thank transitions. You. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, it is cold out there. You want to layer up with the socks or whatever you want to layer up with.